What's up guys, my name's Ali and welcome to a full in-depth analysis of the brand new and official Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 trailer. If you'd like to go to the description of the video, click on the uh, Facebook app for Machinima and bump the video, it'd really help me out. If you could like it and favourite it, it'd also really help me out and I really appreciate it. If you're brand new to my channel, feel free to subscribe for the latest Modern Warfare 3 information. Let's jump straight into this trailer. So the trailer starts off in America and taking a look at a still image of the trailer here we have a destroyer sinking in the bottom left hand corner we have a pavlo which looks like it may come back again uh, as a kill streak from Modern Warfare 2 uh, near the top right hand corner there. In the top left corner we see an F-22 fighter jet flying out of the city remembering that most of the stuff we see in the trailer here is relating to the single player not the multiplayer however there may be some overlap where we see some kill streaks for example new guns that will be incorporated into the multiplayer side of things but remember that this trailer is based around single player. As the trailer progresses we see the MI24 hind outside the New York exchange here. Uh, the Russians are obviously deep inside the uh, American territory here so this is really uh, World War 3 esque close quarters you know uh, all of these countries are battling it out at the moment and it's pretty intense. Leading into the more exciting part of the trailer here, we actually see the M4 carbine, but it's not just an M4 carbine. If we take a closer look at it, there's actually multiple scopes on the top of the gun. There is a holographic scope and another scope behind it. So this leads into the idea of um, dual scopes and multiple scopes being allowed uh, in the multiplayer side of things uh, which is fantastic we've never seen this in a Call of Duty game before but also you may not have picked up on the switch on the side of a gun here this actually allows the user to switch between uh, single three burst and fully automatic so maybe in the multiplayer we'll also see the option to customize that within your gun as we progress here we see submarines shooting out missiles with several sunken ships in the background it looks pretty epic as we move on to England we see the use of the MP5 standard in Call of Duty games pretty much now. Uh, we also see uh, a train being smacked into uh, walls but we come on to uh, an interesting part here in France where the uh, character actually picks up some sort of grenade like item uh, as, as we see an RPG fly through the sky here uh, but it's it's not a grenade but it looks like it's sort of glowing so maybe it's some sort of semtex or some sort of uh, fire bomb equivalent which, which we may see as some sort of grenade uh, switch out uh, in, in the multiplayer side of things which could be interesting uh, adding alongside to the semtex and grenade that was now standard continuing we see uh, one of these vans actually being chased by a pavlo um, but jumping ahead we take a look at the guy in the background here in the back left it looks like he's holding some sort of uh, gun it looks like a famus to be honest or a g36c i've always been a big fan of a famus in black ops and modern warfare 2 so seeing that's return is pretty good but to be honest i'd like to see more variations in the gun uh, i'd rather see more new guns than old guns which we've already seen so as we leave France we jump into Germany we see uh, the player grappling over the side of the building. We also have a tank here in this freeze frame and an Warthog. The A-10 Warthog is actually an anti-tank aircraft so it looks like that uh, if the uh, tank was actually included in the multiplayer uh, that the A-10 Warthog would actually be a kill streak to uh, counter this uh, option of a tank. Uh, the tank was never popular in World War. I personally don't think that vehicles uh, really need to be placed into Call of Duty at all. Uh, it would sort of take away from the multiplayer experience but we'll see what happens it's certainly going to be in single player we then see more tanks exploding and a glimpse of a spy plane in the air there an obvious kill streak for multiplayer but we jump into here is actually really important i didn't notice this at first it actually looks like tactical insertions uh, they were a huge part of boosting in modern warfare 2 they slightly ruined the game made all the challenges and uh, titles and emblems you got slightly less um uh, pleasing when you saw them in multiplayer and you knew that the player had obviously hacked or uh, boosted for them uh, but they could be flares and not necessarily tactical insertions so we'll have to see what uh, Infinity War do there and what uh, part that plays in Call of Duty. We then get a glimpse of the AK-47 an obvious gun to be placed in a first person shooter um, it's standard in most uh, first person shooting games obviously seen in Counter-Strike, Call of Duty you name them it's probably going to be in there but uh, more interestingly here as we see a uh, player take cover a uh, system that is rumoured to be in Call of Duty, uh, covering behind walls etc, which is brand new to Call of Duty, uh, it looks like he may be using a UMP there. It's a popular choice in Modern Warfare 2 and seeing it back in Modern Warfare 3 would be really interesting. Continuing with the trailer we see some underwater scenes here, uh, we actually had some in Modern Warfare 2 so it's interesting that they're bringing it back for uh, Modern Warfare 3. We saw the AC-130 there and this looks like some sort of chopper gunner which is uh, kill streaks in both uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops so it looks like they're going to be bringing back those big kill streaks again. 
Uh, whether or not they'll be stackable in multiplayer is still uh, controversial. People aren't sure if that's a good idea or not, but it'd be interesting to see what they actually do in the final game when it's released in November. So this brings us to the end of the Modern Warfare 3 trainer analysis. Hopefully it's been helpful. We see the uh, ability to use a boat here and also perhaps a car in a single player, which is interesting. Uh, the obvious World War 3, which switches to the Modern Warfare 3 logo, which I actually mentioned in one of my previous videos. So that was a nice guess there. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please again like, favourite and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.